These old stone buildings have charmed many visitors in the past, including one renowned architect who left his mark here and on the bluffs. It's a story we discovered at Principia College, which overlooks Elsa and the Mississippi River. Maybeck is one of the top American architects, voted by the American Institute of Architects, and he is best known for his work in California. He was doing a house in California for Arthur E. Bingham. And uh, at the same time, uh, Frederick Morgan, who is the son of the founder of the Principia, was courting Madeline Bingham. And so they got, got and fell into conversation about this new school in St. Louis, and uh, he was entranced. Principia began in 1897 in a carriage house where Mary Morgan homeschooled her two sons. Eventually, parents from her church asked if she could teach their children as well, and attendance grew. By 1910, we'd started a junior college, also located in St. Louis on the Page and Belt campus. And then uh, over the next 20 years, we moved toward establishing a four-year college, purchased uh, the uh, current location here in Elsa for the college in the early 1930s and began construction. The very first classes were held here in 1935. However, Elsha and its bluffs were not the first location chosen. Originally, the school was to have been closer to St. Louis until plans were revealed for a new highway that would bisect the property. Frederick Morgan had to inform Maybeck that six years of planning had been in vain. Frederick said that he walked around the block a couple times before he had his courage up and went in and he explained the situation to Maybeck and Maybeck said, great, I never did like the site. <laughs> He says, I think you ought to build along the river. The river is the focus of uh, this area. And I can see bluffs, you know, and go find that site. And Maybeck was silent, just absolutely silent. And he looked around and Frederick Morgan said, Mr. Maybeck, don't you like it? And Maybeck said, oh, it's terrible, terrible. And he said, just think of the responsibility to build on this land. Scattered along the bluff are the dormitories. In a rejection of an institutional appearance, each dorm is unique in its design. And each is finished in a motif reflecting the English village theme. Where people would be walking and they would be sharing together uh, the, their intellectual life. Each one really is a, is a distinctive design, but typically around a living space, a, a main living room. And what they tell me is over time, uh, his fireplaces got larger and larger in these living rooms. And one of them, Anderson living room, has these big concrete flames coming out of it. My parents were students here, my daughter just graduated from here, and I think we've all uh, really been taken with the fact that these are residence halls that really, I think, help to make it uh, a more vibrant place, a place of reflection, a, a place where you get to meet friends easily and share kind of intimate uh, ideas and, and thoughts. It was a theme he also carried into the classrooms, as evidenced by the science building, which he modeled after a village communal stable. Included in the design are several faux pigeonholes. Today, 11 of the 13 buildings Maybeck designed for Principia are still standing, including the first structure finished on the campus, a small building that goes by the nickname of the Mistake House. Maybeck did say, make your mistakes here, but it's a sample of the different kinds of materials that were used on the campus so that the workmen know how they're to do the building, so that the architects could take the workmen out or the contractor and say, this is what we want done. Yet there is one building Maybeck designed that did not fit into the English theme. On the highest spot on campus sits the second structure finished at Principia, the chapel. It's very unlike the others. It doesn't look like an English village. It's American uh, colonial revival chapel. One of the things that Maybeck did, as he did with all of his clients, he went and um, lived with them and asked them what they wanted. And they said, oh, we want a colonial New England chapel. So he wrote that down and he gave them their colonial chapel.
Today, the public is welcome to tour the college, enjoy the serene setting of the campus, and admire the beautiful view of the Mississippi River Valley that so inspired Bernard Maybeck. To learn more about Principia College and its history, and about Bernard Maybeck, go to its website at www.prin.edu.